Here we're at coach Trevor Karazowicz. Game number three of the FHL Commissioner's Cup Finals. The Demons win in overtime, three to two. Brian Marks, game winning goal. Beautiful shot by Marks. Great game, I think, between the two, uh, the three goalies on the ice. 105 saves and only five goals allowed. Yeah, obviously Rosie's, uh, he's our go-to guy, him and Kinsella, you know what I mean? Kinsella's hurt right now, so uh, it's nice to see uh, him going, you know what I mean? So uh, it's nice to see Rose going and winning, and Marcy got the win. Brian Marks with the game-winning goal, and also Roger Daguna with two goals in the second period to give Dayton their first lead of the game. What did you think of your whole team's performance? Uh, the boys came out slow at the start, and then uh, second period we owned them. Third period we were kind of 50-50, and uh, I honestly think overtime uh, they should have had us. They uh, outplayed us there, and then uh, they um, we honestly got a good shot that got through, and we won, so it was good to see. You guys wore black jerseys, a little bit different than the normal ones, obviously because they're black jerseys, but the numbers on the back were huge, and you guys are now three and one when you guys have a special jersey. Tell me, what does it mean as a player to have a special kit at your arsenal? Uh, it was nice. It was, uh, Paul came up with a nice idea to get some new jerseys and uh, it was cool. Like, you know, I mean, obviously the guys like, the, uh, like you said, special jerseys, um, charity nights, and it's good to see that uh, the boys come out and uh, got a win for us. You guys live another day. It gives this broadcaster another game to call in hockey. I know it's a little bit selfish, but another game of hockey here in Dayton, Ohio. What do you expect in game four? Uh, I think we're going to win game four. I think that was huge tonight. The boys showed a lot of character, and the boys came through to win. So uh, I think the boys will be ready to go tonight, and I think uh, tomorrow, and I think, uh, I think we're going to get a W. 5.05 puck drop tomorrow, Hare Arena, Danbury Whalers, Dayton Demons. The address is Shiloh Springs Road in Trotwood, Ohio. Coach, as always, thanks for your time, and you're watching Dayton Demons Television. Here with Coach Jack Collins, the Dayton Demons defeat the Danbury Whalers 3-2 in overtime when Brian Marks' game-winning goal right around the blue line. Coach, great game. Yeah, it was a perfect game. Uh, it was a fun game to be a part of. Uh, really intense up and down all night. Uh, waiting on uh, one mistake, you know, to turn into a game-winning goal. Brian Marks with a game-winning goal. Roger Daguna with two in the second period. What were your thoughts on the whole team performance tonight? Well, I thought for the most part, probably 75%. I think we uh, outplayed them. Uh, we had a ton of shots on goal. Um, you know, like I said, uh, it's a game of mistakes and turnovers, and usually at this level, um, turnovers uh, usually lead to uh, goals for the other team. Um, we'll have to do a little better job on that tomorrow. Now, I interviewed Coach Karazovic before, and he saying that he felt that this momentum swing would give you guys the win tomorrow. What are some of the keys to help you push for that W in game number four? Well, obviously, uh, we have to be first on pucks. Um, you know, we have to go to the hard areas, uh, play with a little emotion, you know, um, act like uh, we want to be here for sure. Um, you know, just do the best we can for sure. Demons donning special black jerseys tonight. I assume they're going to be worn tomorrow too. But very, very special. As a coach, what does that mean to you when you see your team in a special type of kit? Well, I like it. Um, you know, it's something that we hadn't had all year. Um, we had talked about it all season, and finally we were able to pull it together for the playoffs, and I think it was a good surprise for the fans, for sure. I like them a lot. Jack Collins, the coach of the Dayton Demons. You are watching Dayton Demons Television. Here with head coach Trevor Karazowicz, the Dayton Demons win 3-1 to one in game number four of the FHL Commissioner's Cup Finals. That means the series moves back to Danbury for a winner-take-all game number five. Coach, great win tonight. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Uh, the boys came out to play tonight, so it was good. August Aiken with back-to-back -back goals to give Dayton a 2-0 lead. And then Roger Laguna puts the icing on the cake and gives Dayton a 3-1 win here at Hare, the finale of the 2013-2014 season. Now tell us a little bit about Jeff Rose's performance. Tell us a little about the home team performance and give us 
you know, what were your whole thoughts about the game? Uh, I thought the boys were going tonight. Obviously, Rosie did what he always does. He stands on his head, and uh, the boys battled after he made some big saves. So after he made some saves, we kept going. That being said, game number five moves to Danbury. What's going to be the keys to keep this momentum in the Demons' favor, and what's going to be some of the way to block out the Whaler faithful noise? Uh, the boys just got to stay focused. Now the momentum's in our favor. Uh, both of our backs are to the wall. We play with adversity all year, and they haven't. So I think it's time for us to go, you know what I mean? You guys are tied now in the series 2-2. Two to two. You guys played yesterday down the series 2-0. Two, two big wins at home in the playoffs. That's huge. Uh, yeah, it's huge. Again, it's going to be whoever can steal one of the other team's barns is going to win the finals. That being said, what's your whole thoughts as this season is almost wrapped up? The book is almost closing this 2013-2014 season. As a head coach, the FHL Coach of the Year, what's been your whole thoughts throughout October through now? Uh, it's been a whirlwind year, obviously. Uh, like you said, Coach of the Year to uh, just missing out on the first place, and now we're going to Game 5 of the Finals. Um, you win one game, you win the finals, you win the championship. Who would have dreamed of it? Who would have thought of it? Like, it's a great thing to be a part of. It is also a little bit sad, too, because this was your last home game here this season. And as a selfish point of stand, as a selfish point of view, I love broadcasting. I love broadcasting the Demons. I love being the play-by-play -play voice. I know you guys love playing here at Hare Arena. It's a little bittersweet. Yeah, it is. But obviously, again, there'll be another one next year. We'll be around, and you'll be around, and we'll all be here. Game number five at Danbury. Now, Coach, Roger Laguna with the one goal, August Aiken with two goals. They're two of the three stars. Jeff Rose, the third star. Great game for them tonight. Uh, yeah, it was good. Obviously, we had other guys stepping up. We had Aik step up. We had Taguna. He's been on fire in the playoffs. And then, obviously, like you said, Rosie's been the backbone with Kinsella. That being said, Coach, I want to thank you and everyone for giving me the time, pre-game and post-game, to let me interview you guys. And it's been the fun part, other than calling the actual game. I love hanging out with you guys, and thank you for including me in the family, right? Yeah, no worries. Thank you. We all liked doing it. It was great. You're watching Dayton Demons Television, our final interview with Coach Karazowicz in the 2013-2014 season. Demons win game number four, three to one. Here with Roger Daguna, August Aiken, and Jeff Rose, your three stars of the game tonight in Dayton's 3-1 defeat against Danbury. It's a best of five. The fifth game will be at Danbury, Connecticut. Winner takes the cup. Guys, great game. I'll start over here with you, Roger. Great game. You have the last goal of the game, the third one for Dayton. How are you feeling after the 60 minutes? Uh, you know, you always feel good when you win, especially when the boys battle as hard as we did. And, um, you know, I think we deserve the win, and we got it. So uh, I think everyone's pretty happy. And, Jeff, you had a great night tonight. You picked up back-to-back -back wins here at Hare Arena in games number three and four in the Cup. How do you feel? Um, I feel pretty good, obviously. Uh, it's good to get the monkey off the back. Um, you know, especially when we go down two games to uh, two games to none out there in Danbury. So it's... Uh, it's good to come back home and get two wins and then take it back for uh, game five. And August, you had the first two goals again. First one in the second period on a five on three with four seconds left. Great game and great momentum shift for the Demons to take the win. Yeah, definitely. We knew, it, we knew it was on the line. You know, it was our season on the line and we came out to play and I thought we had a great game. Uh, series moves to Connecticut. Guys, what are some of the keys to quiet the Danbury faithful and take the cup? in Connecticut? Uh, we got we to gotta play hard, we got to play physical, we got to be on their D and get shots on net. Uh, doesn't matter who's in net, we got to crash the net and uh, bang away some goals. Yeah, definitely just to uh, you know add on to what August said, uh, you know the first 10 minutes in that barn uh, is always huge for us, you know whether we uh, first one's the score or we give up a goal, so we got to come out with the same intensity that we had all weekend um, here at home and you know go from there. And Roger, same question for you. How do you quiet the Danbury faithful and win the cup in Danbury, Connecticut? Uh, we just got to take the same approach we took the last two games here. You know, our backs are still against the wall, and um, they're in the same situation as we are now. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a battle, but we got to play the same way we played these last four games, really. And um, hopefully we come away with the cup. And the four games in the cup thus far, three games have been determined by one goal, 
And tonight is the first game in the cup where the Demons have won by two. Now guys, first year in Dayton. Jeff, your second year here. Roger, I'll start with you. The season's almost over. How was Dayton, Ohio, and how did it treat you? Oh, it was great, you know. Um, I had a blast here uh, playing at the Hera. Uh, the fans were always into it, so it was um, it was always good. And we had a good, great group of guys, and, um, you know, it would be nice to end it off with the championship. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, uh, since I got here last year, it's... Uh, it's been awesome. Um, the fans have been great. The city's great. Uh, you know, last year we had a great group of guys. This year we have just as good of a of a group here. So uh, hopefully we can get a uh, you know a different result for the city of Dayton as than we did last year. Yeah, it's definitely been a blast. You know, the fans are awesome. The booster club's awesome. Every every person I've been a part of has been awesome to me, and I you know I enjoyed my time here in Dayton. Let's talk a little bit about the 60 minutes here. August Aiken, you had the first two goals, and after Danbury got their only goal of the game, you score the final goal against Kevin Hoy. Now, tell me, those 60 minutes, how was, how was that for you gentlemen? It, it, it was good. You know, uh, we, we stuck to the game plan. You know, we were pretty physical on them, I thought, all night. And, you know, we scored when we needed to, and, uh, you know, we got it done. We, a lot of guys blocked shots, and we played well defensively. Yeah, everyone, uh, everyone was pulling tonight, and uh, you know it was a great team win. Um, you know we scored; we knew it was going to be a close game. Um, you know we scored when we had to, and we played defense when we had to. So you know it can't get much better than that. Uh, you know everyone played great. Everyone from our goalie on through to our forwards and our D. It's just um, it was a complete team effort there. And uh, when you uh, only led one goal against, that's a real team stat, and um, it shows how how well we played and. Um, Hopefully we can do it again. Now, guys, I want to say thank you for giving me your guys' time during the season for post-game interviews. I do appreciate it. And we hope to see you back in Dayton next year with the Demons. But if not, good luck in your careers. And Dayton wishes you nothing but the best. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I had a good time here. You're watching Dayton Demons Television.